The Sainsbury Laboratory is at the forefront of discovery science in the area of plant immunity and plant disease. We want to understand how diseases happen, understand their underlying biology, and then try and find solutions to many of the world's most significant crop diseases. TSL makes a contribution to understanding plant disease and plant disease resistance by focusing on the fundamental principles that govern the outcome of an infection of a plant by a pathogen. What are the mechanisms of recognition of pathogens by plants that activate defense? How does a pathogen shut down those defense mechanisms? And then how do some genes in some plants enable recognition of these virulent pathogens and uh, in a way that means that their infection can be blocked? The small RNA uh, in plants was first discovered by uh, Sir Professor David Balcom in TSL. Plant immune receptors, including the crosstalk between the surface immune receptors and intracellular immune receptors, these are all major discoveries in TSL. TSL scientists have also made major contributions to genomics of fungal and omicid pathogens and their coevolution with the hosts. T-cell research sets out to identify genetic solutions that can be integrated within the seed itself. So the farmer, when buying that seed, would be able to grow crops that are fully protected from a given plant pathogen. If we are successful, uh, we might prevent crops in Brazil needing five spraying applications a year because plants simply now can defend themselves in a much more harmonious way. So the first thing we do at this cell is study the pathogen that causes diseases. Often the first step these days in terms of understanding a new pathogen is to sequence its genome. Once we know the enemy, we can already start developing strategies to deal with that enemy. And then there's the other side, is the plant side. Studying the plant immune systems allow us to understand how plants fight against these pathogens and how we could also find the genes that are important for uh, plant immunity and transfer them into our crops and make our crops more resistant and more resilient. Out of that basic knowledge, you have all these branches coming out in terms of collaborations with industry, collaborations with our colleagues in developing countries, collaborations with field scientists, and trying to really bring that knowledge to uh, where the problems are actually taking place in the field, in the farms around the world.